So we're going to start off by looking at opening files. The reason for that is because task three is about um, uh, uh, working with file data and formatting it so that we can process it, which essentially means search it and sort it and display the results. So task three uh, starts off by describing uh, setting up a menu, but rather than doing that first, we're going to uh, try and get option A, B and C working and then lastly implement the menu and the reason for that is if we do the menu first then it just slows down uh, development. So to uh, get any of option A, B and C working we need to open the files that it talks about at the beginning so one of those files is chess fixtures and the other file is chess results. So if I was to open the chess fixtures file as a text file within Excel, then all of the data for one fixture is on um, one row, as it were, um, and it and it's uh, each row is separated by a new line, and then we've got these commas separating out the data um, in between. And we've got about 190 records here uh, to look at. And so this is what we want to read in um, in our Python program. So I've got my uh, Python program file open here. Um, and I've saved it in the same folder as my text files. So let's start off by just uh, working out how we open a text file. So the easiest way is to use the with open as um, statement. And the with, with open as statement is written like this. So you say with open is a is a function, and as uh, and so following as we need um, a variable name for the file. So I'm just going to call that variable name my file, and then a colon, and then I'm going to assign. So all of the lines of data again. This is a variable name. I'm going to say that um, uh, is equal to whatever is in my file, which is the variable I've just described above, dot read lines. So read lines is a built-in function. So inside these, this open, um, uh, uh, the arguments that we use, so inside the brackets for the open function, we need to put in the name of our file. So if we have a look at this statement, we've got um, uh, the open function is opening the file. The file name is a string, so we've put it inside quotes. And then we're saying lines equals myfile.readlines. Myfile is the same variable we've declared at the top. And lines is another variable name, and this is just reading each row. Um, that's what we're doing. So this is read each row. So if we now run this and uh, and see what that gives us. So it, uh, hopefully if the file is saved in the correct folder, um, uh, in the same folder as our uh, Python program, it should just um, uh, run without any errors. But if it's not in the correct folder or this is spelt incorrectly, then you'll get an error. So typing in lines over here, having saved and run this, I should now um, see that my file has been opened and all of the data from the file is assigned to this variable called lines. So we can investigate the structure of this data uh, further by typing in lines and then zero, which means the first element of the list and we know it's a list because the whole of this um, lines variable is surrounded by these square brackets. So lines zero gives us the first row of the data, just as it did in um, Excel. So it's one long string separated by commas, and it's also got a, a new line here. So essentially what we've done with our file is we've read it all in and the next step the next thing that we really want to do with this file is we want to split this data up into separate columns and if we can split it up into separate columns 
it means then it's going to be easier to search the data on each individual element. And one way of doing that in um, Excel is to uh, click on data and then I'm on the first row and I go to text to columns um, and then in my in my menu that turns up if I just show you here in my menu that turns up because I've just selected the first one I can say my data is separated on commas and then I can click on next and finish and what uh, happens is each element of the data gets put into its separate column um, and if we can do that with all of the data, one after the other, um, it means, so let's just do that with the second row as well. And let's, just go back and say that it's going to be separated by a comma, not by a tab, and then finish. Now our second row, He's also been separated into the number, the date, the time the match took place, who played, um, and who won. So that's what we're going to do uh, next with our file data. So before I just uh, show you how to do this, I just want to, again, um, explain what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove, we're going to look at just the first line, and we're going to remove the... Uh, new line character and we're going to split the data on a comma. So the way we're going to do that is we'll say okay give me the the first line and then we use the, a function called strip and when I press enter what it does, what strip does is it removes the new line character so as you can see we don't have a new line that uh, um, uh, uh, slash n there and we don't have that on the end of here uh, so now if I just um, get up uh, my previous command and the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to split the data so split is a function uh, built-in function again um, and what I'm going to do, do with the split function is I'm going to say split that split my data on a comma and so when I press enter, what you'll see is it's taken the first row of data and it's created a list. And you can see that it's a list because here are the square brackets. And it's put each element as a separate string. And we know it's a string because it's surrounded by quotes um, into a, a different element um, of that list. Because we know that lists, all the items in a list are separated um, uh, using these commas so there's a string here and then the next string and then there's the next string so that's what we're going to do um, over here in our program and to do that for every line we're going to use a for loop so let's just uh, say the put a comment in so um, do for every line uh, so every line or every row however you want to view the data uh, because this just worked for the very first one. Uh, so to go go through every line, we use a for loop, and the structure of a for loop is always for, and then the name of a temporary variable in which we're going to hold stuff. So, um, so for temp in lines, and lines is this variable here, which holds all of our uh, data, and then a colon, and then what we want to do is we want to say, the temporary variable that we've got, what I want you to do is take that line and I want you to remove the new line character from it. So after having removed the new line character, then what I'd like you to do is I want you to split that line um, on a comma. So remember these are our built-in uh, um, functions so split is a function strip is a function and then uh, read lines is a function and open is a function so open takes the name of a file and uh, split takes uh, the character that you want to split the data on um, and then lastly what we want to do is this obviously does this for every single line but what we want to do is also store each line um, 
once it's been processed and the way we're going to do that is we're going to create an empty list which is just our let's call this our clean data so data that is processed or process data so we'll say create me an empty list and then every time we sort out every time we make a row um, into the correct format we want to add it to the list that we have created so we're just going to say clean data dot append so append again is a, a function and what we're going to say is append to that list the variable uh, temp because temp we have uh, got rid of the new line and we've split it so we should end up with a list of lists so let's um, save this and run it and having run that again we're not printing anything but I, I should be able to come over here and get it to show me what's in uh, clean data and now I have got uh, data which looks pretty good so I can say clean data show me what's in the very first row and there I've got uh, a nicely formatted list I can also say show me what's in the last row and you can do that by using minus one and there's my last piece of data um, showing here.